Let's go ahead and prove the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So what we want here is that the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx is capital F of B minus capital F of A, where capital F of X is an antiderivative of lower case f of x. So we'll start by observing that n antiderivative of f exists. The first part of the fundamental theorem of calculus tells us that the integral from a to x of f of t dt is an antiderivative. And all antiderivatives look basically the same. Once you found one antiderivative, you've found them all. So capital F of X is G of X plus a constant. And we will evaluate capital F of B minus capital F of A. And we'll see if we do get to this definite integral. So that's G of B plus C minus G of A minus C. So our C is cancel. And we get that F of B minus F of A is G of B minus G of A. Now we'll use our definition of G. G of B is the integral from A to B of F of T dt. G of A is this integral. And one of our theorems we have stated says that any definite integral from A to A is just zero. Finally, it doesn't matter what you would um what you call a variable in the sense that for example a t squared and x squared both represent a parabola the same parabola the sine of t or the sine of x they both represent the same wave 
So if instead of calling our variable t, we want to call our variable x, there's certainly nothing stopping us from doing so. And we have been victorious. That is precisely the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus. In the next video, we'll do an example or two using the fundamental theorem.